G'day YouTube, 1MJ here, welcome back. Well, it's Christmas Eve, so this isn't going to be uh, too long a video, I've got plenty of things to do today, uh, obviously, uh, but a couple of interesting articles here, so this one on Cointelegraph. So, a storm is brewing between state regulators and the OCC over fintech licensing. So this is all to do with uh, things like Kraken being made banks and all the rest of it. Uh, so it's hitting some hurdles already and, uh, you know, uh, it's not like you couldn't kind of see this coming. Uh, this was to be expected. Uh, you know, there's you know, the old guard and the new guard. The new guard is, you know, things like Kraken and that being given bank licenses and that. Uh, and, you know, again, the next generation are all happy for that to happen. The old guard, I, you know, the old banks and all that, uh, not so happy and all their, re you know, all the... Uh, state senators and all the rest of it uh, that they kind of have in their pocket because they've had that walled garden system for such a long time you know new banking licenses weren't given out all that easy and if you weren't the same as basically everyone else uh, you know you couldn't get in and things have changed so uh, interesting to watch this space and see whether you know Kraken can hold that license and you know all these new sort of banking licenses that they're looking at giving out to places like fintech and that i.e that'll be you know like facebook whether that's going to hold up and that's going to last or you know some of them are going to be reverted uh and all the rest of it so we'll have to keep a look out for that now something i'm really happy about the s and x price has soared uh recently so there are several factors what well, several factors why snx has uh, seen some impressive gains over the last month synthetics network token the native token of Syn uh, synthetics a decentralized finance derivatives protocol has been surging through the past week and is now over seven dollars 87 uh, as of december 23rd so the primary catalyst behind snx has been a listing on coinbase so uh, snx uh, Aave, and Bancorn network uh, were all listed on Coinbase and of course they're getting uh, the natural pump uh, that happens when they get on there. So well done to Synthetics. Now look, they've also done some new stuff with their interface and all the rest of it. So some improvements have been made uh, and yeah, things are looking really, really good for Synthetics. I did speak about them uh, not too long ago and I am still super bullish on um you know, synthetics network, but also some of these DeFi protocols. I really do think they are going to be the future uh, in those areas. And they have the first uh, first mover advantage for some of them. So again, Aave, you know, has a license over in uh, the UK, a financial license, uh, synthetics network. Again, you know, doing all the derivatives and that, it's got that first mover advantage uh, and, and a really good system uh, in my eyes. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see uh, how well this price goes uh, in the future. Again, you know, the sky's the limit for DeFi, I think CeFi, so centralized finance, they will adopt a lot of the stuff that decentralized finance is doing just to remain relevant and to remain sort of solvent. They will piggyback uh, on this stuff to, uh, again, you know, yeah, be able to just continue uh, to work in the future because at the moment, you know, their system uh, is completely harm hamstrung and, you know, going into negative uh, interest rates and things like that. Whereas, uh, you know, DeFi, they're offering, you know, returns that haven't been seen, you know, in many, many years. And, you know, whether that can last or not is, you know, the new question. You know, can decentralized finance just remain positive uh, all the time for returns? Who knows, but I am super bullish and I'm glad that I have a position in Synthetics Network. All right, so Bitcoin. Bitcoin rally attracts wave of private investment as leading blockchain VC raises new $120 million fund. All right, the Bitcoin rally has seen the cryptocurrency climb to uncharted highs and this hasn't just been reflected in the markets away from the exchanges and OTC desks setting the price of BTC private and institutional invest investors interest in growing space and evidence of this can be seen in the uh, growth of crypto venture capital funds which have raised billions of dollars so one on December 23rd soul based blockchain investment group 
hashed revealed it has raised 120 million for its first crypto fund the firm led by ceo simon kim intends to invest in disruptive blockchain startups including base layer protocols similar to ethereum according to kim the next wave of crypto networks will mark the start of the protocol economy an era in which data and value is transmitted globally globally by crypto networks using a shared public ledger i agree i think this is uh the future and you know a uh, new chain so i think things like cardano have a, a really big upside polka dot uh, you know, obviously Ethereum uh, you know, and and others too. It will be interesting again to see how they perform over the next, you know, at least just this uh, sort of bull, but also bear market, whether they are just kind of a fad that only lasts through this bull market uh, and then die off uh, in the next bear market or whether they have the long-term staying power and ability of ETH. And look, Cardano as well. Cardano's been through a bear market. Sorry, it's been through a bull market, uh, been through a bear market and now going through another bull market. So it is getting closer to of showing itself to be uh, true, tried and tested, uh, similar to Ethereum. Uh, yeah, very interesting and it doesn't surprise me. I think this is just going to be uh, again, one of the early ones, I think there's going to be a ton of other, you know, new VCs uh, and funds being raised, you know, Bitcoin funds, Ethereum funds, you know, there will be Cardano funds in the future, I suspect, uh, and all sorts of things like that going on. And, you know, maybe Polkadot has the same. Uh, this is the place to be, in my personal opinion, not financial advice. Uh, for if, if you want to be an early adopter and investor into cryptocurrencies, uh, you still are early. The big firms and companies are still only just starting to get here. The upside, uh, it's limitless at the moment. We just we you know, we don't know where the uh, top will be. And again, maybe there's still a cycle or two to go after this before that true sort of you know worldwide uh, adoption is taken up. So you know this cycle may not be uh, the biggest of the cycles. There could be bigger ones to come. But maybe this is the biggest one or maybe we just do see diminishing returns which has sort of slowly been happening but i still have a suspicion that there could be a super cycle and this might be it with all the big institutions getting in and then the re uh, retail fomo that's going to be pushed on top later uh, particularly you know if we do start to see uh, you know high inflation with money you know, uh, the money just keeps the deflating uh, and the prices of everything goes up. Um, yeah, watch this space. All right, Grayscale. So it says here, Grayscale Trust is key to Bitcoin price, JP Morgan says. Uh, yeah, I guess I would kind of agree that it's a part of the key. I don't think it's the only key. I don't think that is the only uh, place that's going to drive the price again. You know, there's going to be companies that will come out and just uh, buy it themselves, you know, like MicroStrategy. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, it's early in the morning here. But Grayscale, I mean, you know, they continue to buy Bitcoin uh, on the dips and all the rest of it. So I do think they will play a major part uh, in pushing uh, Bitcoin further. But whether they are the key, uh, yeah, I don't know. But they're definitely a part of it. It's There's never one thing that is just the, the driver or the force of something. It's always a combination of things. Right. And as we see here, Bitcoin demand is booming and Bitcoin supply is shrinking. You know, OTC desks, they are going to run out of the Bitcoin that they can sell other than, you know, the the miners being able to sell it. There's going to come a point where whoever's selling it at the moment says, you know what, I'm not selling anymore. I'm holding on to what I got for higher prices again. So Bitcoin's growing demand is resulting in a supply crisis. According to Glassnode CTO, Raphael uh, Schultz Craft, the total amount of Bitcoin on exchanges has fallen 20% this year. Bits, uh, but Schultz Craft said this shouldn't prevent uh, regular investors from buying in. I totally agree. I think we're still very early, not financial advice. Uh, there are two key factors that affect Bitcoin's price, supply and demand. And while the available supply has been shrinking, demand has been rapidly going up. Institutional investors and companies like MicroStrategy have been plowing into the market, buying up huge quantities of Bitcoin, increasing the demand. At the same time, data shows the amount of Bitcoin available on exchanges has been declining massively. 
and this is already starting to affect the market. Uh, so you know, Glassnode, they put out lots of really good charts and all the rest of it, and you can uh, go ahead and have a look at Glassnode. You do have to pay for the uh, better services, but they've got some basic ones there. And look, we know this has been coming for a while, the amount of Bitcoin that's being bought up by you know, just you and me and uh, normal people, plus then all these massive institutions getting in. The price has nowhere, you know, but up to go at the moment. But again, we could have those retracements. And traditionally, you know, we have 30 to 40% retracements in a bull market. We haven't had anything close to that yet. So uh, at some stage uh, it will occur. It's just whether it's going to happen right now or not uh, is really, you know, the determining factor all right let's go over well now we're gonna to have to refresh this it's 652 billion uh, we had have a bit of a pullback so let's see if that's still the case 652 yep still going down a little bit and look uh, XRP has really really tumbled so it's down to 31 cents at the moment uh, it'll be interesting to see just how low it's gonna go you know, I thought I was lucky when I bought some XRP at 20 cents earlier this year. I think I got some at 19 cents US. Uh, that's the cheapest. Um, you know, with this bad news at the moment, how low can it go is the question. Uh, you know, could we see it drop down into the kind of, you know, single cent range? So, you know, sort of maybe two cents to eight cents, uh, even lower. Who knows, it'll be quite scary if it does drop below the 20 cent range, but look at the moment, uh, it's just in total free fall and we'll just have to wait and see. All right, uh, gas prices pushing up, BTC dominance, there we go, it's just climbing at the moment. More and more people are jumping in uh, to Bitcoin at the moment as it just pushes uh, higher and that is uh, what makes me think we're gonna crack that $24,000, $25,000, but no guarantees, we could have that pullback. All right, what's pumped in 24 hours? So Zillica and obviously Synthetics Network, it, it continues to go up just in the last hour. Uh, empty set dollar, I mean, again, Swiss Borg, have a look at that, 100% in seven days. Zillica, 81% in seven days. Uh, and look, we're not even, you know, fully in the, uh, in the altcoin season yet. Don't get me wrong, this is a little altcoin season sort of run but it's not the altcoin season that everyone's thinking of just yet. You know, when the real altcoin season comes, uh, you're going to see some things move uh, exponentially and it's just going to be very hard to uh, keep track of it and just watch how far they run uh, throughout the whole cycle because the, once the altcoin season starts, uh, they'll really pump uh, and Bitcoin will be pumping at the same time. It'll be all of them sort of going at once but you know bitcoin will pump it'll ease off altcoins will run then bitcoin and then uh altcoins and that's the cycle i have spoke about that before but what about losers have we had any big losers we have xrp leading the way and look stella following suit uh, they are closely uh sort of related um and yeah they're not doing too well at the moment but Elron as well had a reasonable pullback but look it did pump pretty hard for a while the graph excuse me seems to have uh, leveled out uh, they did really really well uh, and again uh, Chimpion so it pumped a hundred percent and so now starting to have a pullback and again Chimpion and the graph uh, were coins that weren't even the top 100 that long ago and have forced their way in so we do have some losses there hence why uh, you know, you can't really say this is altcoin season at the moment, but wait until it happens. All right, last but not least, let's go over to Bitcoin. Let's have a look. Here we are. So we're getting some sideways action from Bitcoin at the moment. Uh, just again, you know, pumped up. We had a pullback. What kind of pullback did we get? Uh, it's about 10%. So there you go. We had a 10% pullback. So that's pretty reasonable. Uh, we are now getting towards the weekend though. So, uh, and Christmas, so things could slow down. There could be a sell off. People take some profits. We're just waiting to sort of see. And again, a 23,000, you know, $23,500 Bitcoin, a 40% retracement is going to take us basically back down uh, to around this kind of $14,000, $13,000 level. So it is possible that something like this happens. You know, we're just going to have to wait and see. Nobody really knows. All right. That's it from me. It's Christmas Eve. Uh, 
I look forward to spending time with my family tomorrow on Christmas Day. I hope you all get to do the same. Uh, if you're in lockdown anywhere around the world, uh, you know, try to remain positive and hopefully, uh, you know, you can get through this and particularly 2021 with vaccines being rolled out and all the rest of it can be a much more positive year. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that game train and I'll see you next time.